Good morning, everyone. I'm live on Facebook and zooming along and we're going to make this great make a we're going to make a Halloween card today using the celebration tidying. No, no. Yeah, the celebration labeled dies and the wreath builder dies. So we have spiders and wreaths and all sorts of cool stuff to put on. Uh, I saw this card, where did I see it? Oh, on Facebook yesterday and fell in love with it. I don't have all the stuff that she used but I do have most of it. Now let me go and get her name so I can tell you. Jan Musselman of I Heart, Two, I Heart Cards 2 is the name of the person that is the original artist for this. Okay, Just waiting to see if anybody joins me. I don't want you to see that. I want you to see my hands. Oh, oh, there's Maria. Yay, now I can spotlight that video. Nope, not that one. Good morning. Hi. All right, spotlight my hands. Make sure that that's what you're seeing over there in Facebook world. I never know what's going to happen over there. I logged in this morning and it's different again. Oh God, they have been doing so many changes. They had my computer so messed up the other day. I thought it was my new computer. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't, it was them. But for a whole day, I was messed up with trying to get to my classes and stuff. Oh, yuck. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. What do you And do? did you make it? I did. Morning, Shanna. Hey, I have a question for you, Maria. A doggy question. Sure. How do you stop a dog from licking all the time? <laughs> Depends on why he's licking. Because he's if, happy to see, she's happy to see me. <laughs> um, you can teach her to say no. A boss growl, a good low growl, a no and push it away. But you have to be consistent. And, and I would say no lick. I would put the word on it. Okay, that's what we've been doing yet. But you have to mean it and you have to mean it every time you can't let it happen sometimes and not others oh you mean i have to be a consistently bad grandma basically okay then oh. all right we'll tie that because your thing of walking into them when they jump up on you worked so well they don't do that anymore good i, I don't know. Even know what i'm talking about huh i think you do a little bit <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, so just a little moment of prayer and for Lorraine today and tomorrow. Hopefully things will go well for her. It's gonna, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so I saw this cool card, but I thought <laughs> I could make that card, sort of. Sort of. Sort of. I don't have all the stuff, but. And I have the old black glimmer paper and that's the one that leaks glimmer all over the place. So. You're glittering, little... are you? Oh, I'm gonna be a glitter, glitteral, glitterful person today. All right. So the first step I'm going to do is stamp the sentiment. And then we're going to emboss this piece once I get rid of the little black speckles everywhere. I don't normally do Halloween cards, but this one is just too good to resist. Oh, John, it's probably in the bag with my homework in it. Sour cream. Yep. Nice. I know. Okay. And I don't have the current um, embossing folder, which sucks. I have the retired ones, so we're going to make that work. Somehow. Ooh, that's cool. 
Yeah, this was one of the ones that I, I will never get rid of. Well, except maybe I should just order the old, the new one. Yes. You never know. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh. Ah. So cool. <laughs> now adhesive. Come on. Where are you? Here. So, so cool. I don't have anything like that. Oh, well. I'm sure you have lots of embossing folders. Morning, Eva. Oh, no, I do not. You don't? No, I don't. But I do lock in that department. Ooh. I know. Uh oh, just ran out of adhesive. And I was doing so well. Oh, okay. Apparently, that adhesive really likes that paper. <laughs> I might just have to grab my contraband here. This is not working. And layer that onto a piece of pumpkin pie. It's quite effective, isn't it, Shanna? Doing that stamping before you emboss and then embossing. Mm -hmm. And then it squishes the cardstock up so much on this one that it's uneven. Look at that. The sides are not the same as the top oh, of the that Yep, that's why. The more you manipulate the paper, the more uneven things get. Huh. Who knew? Who knew? Well, now I knew. I learned something. Shanna tell, says for you to start your Christmas list for embossing folders. <laughs> <laughs> I buy what I want when I want. <laughs> I don't have to wait for Christmas. There you go. Okay, going on to a black card base. Black card base. I've already created a card this morning. Good Lord. I know. Good morning. Hi. Oh, good morning, Carmen. I finally found the right Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you zoom, zoom in on somebody else? <laughs> I zoomed in on Mondays and it wouldn't let me. It told me that Wanda was in another meeting. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. So now I have three things to cut out. Shanna said, yeah, who knew? I never tried it, Maria. Just going and getting what you want when you want. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out really well, Shanna. Really does. And don't say anything. Yep, it's true. Or say it, whatever. Okay. Oh, it says Carbon has joined my meeting. <laughs> like I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Zoom. Oh, yes. yes. So informative. I have to cut this upside down. Otherwise, it won't cut out properly. Especially this always, paper, because this is that old stuff. I always want to get some of the Halloween stuff, but I really don't have anybody to give it to. <laughs> well, you know, with this card, you don't need Halloween stuff. All you need is the wreath builder die. I've discovered I wasn't going to get this. This was not on my radar to get this bundle. Yeah. And then I started seeing all the stuff. You don't even need the stamp set with it. You can use just the dies. Yeah. 
are you trying to talk me into buying more products after yesterday's order? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not necessarily you. There are other people out there in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh god funny. that's my story i'm sticking to it <laughs> funny. you know me i'm the enabler yeah yes you are okay there's one cut i'll get rid of oh, all those so oh. pretty in the orange i uh, know who who would who thinks this stuff up? Mm -hmm. like, hello, and wait till you see the next color. <sighs> Gorgeous gray. Oh, and this this cut out really well upside down. I love this new machine. Yes, I'm trying to promote that too, Carmen. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm promoting it so much that I'm ordering two more for my studio that's crazy it's a really i really like that new machine and boy if i hadn't just bought the big shot not even four years ago yeah i'd be buying it <laughs> i understand mm -hmm. try selling it that's true you can do that yeah well I'm try I have a sales goal to meet by the end of September that I'm trying desperately to meet. So that's why I'm doing my part. I'm gonna order uh -huh. my machines. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I'm I'm hoping I'm close enough that I can do a customer surprise ordering special thing. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, my pieces are cut except for the spiders, which I'm going to cut in a minute. And I just want to go see what color she did. Okay, so orange, then black, then purple. I can do that. So pretty. Orange. This black glimmer is amazing. Oh, so pretty. And then black, and then purple. Oh my goodness. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, just put that off to the side. Get rid of all these little bits and glimmer bits. Now we got to stamp and die cut some spiders. Maybe I'll send this one to my son who doesn't like spiders. Oh. Could I be that mean? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I can try. Yeah. <laughs> he may not talk to me for a while, but hey. <laughs> One. How many spiders do you think I'm going to need? Two. Three. Four. Five. We'll try that. Uh oh, need to re ink my ink pad. Okay. Let's. Try the new magnetic one. As I can. As these are little teeny tiny itty bitty dies. That can be truly annoying. <laughs> That's nice when they have more than one of them, isn't it? Yes. Okay, why is it not working? There we are. Is Al nope. on this morning? Um, I haven't heard from her, no. I don't know who's on watching over there in Facebook land. 
Yeah, Shanna, it's kind of cool, isn't it? I like, I when I saw this card, I fell in love with it absolutely immediately. Then I had to figure out what I was going to do with it because usually I don't make cards just because they make me happy. I have to have a purpose for them. <laughs> like it's a class or Facebook Live. And then I thought, well, ding dong, let's do it on Thursday. Okay, this new magnetic platform actually works really well. Just saying. Just saying, yeah. It's a little on the expensive side, but uh, it does work well for this. I, uh, that was part of my order. Aha. Uh -huh. Did you email your club order to me, Carmen? You said you were going to, but I didn't receive it. Yeah. Oh. Let Did you do check. it? Yes. Pardon? Let me check. Well, I'm sure I sent it. Or I last, thought I did. Last night? Yeah. Let me check my junk. Yeah, no. I did send it. No. Well, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Yesterday at 8.04 p.m. Weird. Tells me you joined Zoom, but doesn't give me your, your email. Yeah. Nope, it's not there. Can you resend it for me? Yeah, I will. Because it's not there. Reply forward. I'll be forward to you. Okay, got one more spider to cut. So when I'm using this, I left it on my old magnetic platform, hoping maybe that'll help it not curl quite as bad. We'll okay, see. I resent it. Okay, thanks. Oh, no, I can't get the Zoom update. What the heck? Oh, I tell you this thing. <laughs> oh, got it. Okay, there we are. Spideys are all cut. I, I like the... Did... Go ahead. I never did find the post from yesterday telling us what sizes or whatever on that, and I never found this morning's post either. <laughs> Well, I didn't, I forgot to do it this morning, but I did do it yesterday. And I didn't say what sizes. Okay. Well, that's probably why you didn't find it, because I didn't do it. <laughs> Couldn't hear what you said. You wandered away. <laughs> I had to go get my ribbon. I ah. said it's probably why you couldn't find it, because I didn't do it. Ah. <laughs> yesterday was crazy with. 9, 10, 11, and 1 o'clock classes. And then the sale was yesterday. Yeah. And then I was dealing with team stuff last night. So it was, it was a very weird day. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a busy day for you. So I'm scared to phone you, but I wasn't sure about the stuff. But that, That's yeah. okay. And that, and I'm going, oh. I just stayed up later last night. All is good. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we might be going to uh, Vancouver this weekend, so I'm going to be short a day. Yeah. As our northern son and his, his son are coming down to do an Ikea run. <gasps> are, you oh, gonna, yeah. are you meeting them at Ikea? Just might be meeting them in Ikea. Just can you pick me up a couple of little things? Of course I can. Oh, Glenda, that's so exciting. Yay. <laughs> well, Ted's not quite as thrilled as you are because I told him that I've taken my kitchen measurements with me. Oh, oh. <laughs> not a girl. 
Well, I got to be there. I might as well, right? Well, you yeah. tell them a happy wife is a happy life. <laughs> and he too will enjoy cooking in a new kitchen. Two? What's this two thing? That implies that I will be cooking too, and that, you know, that doesn't happen. Well, you'll make your salad. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Lately, I've been staying in my craft room till after meal time, and he's been making my salad all except for my onion. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm learning in my old age, I tell you. You are. Okay. So let's put some stuff together. I'm thinking that that bow might have to be bigger. Not quite sure yet. Um, bow. Dot, 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 dot. I haven't been in, in uh, Ikea for so long. Me neither. Probably sooner than you have been, but it still seems like forever. I think the last time I was in there, I bought the kitchen for the trip, the cabin, and that was, oh man, probably four years ago now. Wow. I know. I think I'm overdue. I think you are too. And the excuse that I have to go see my grandson is the beginning excuse I'm going to use. That's right. I have to go see him. Absolutely. Cover that boat. Yeah, they're driving all the way down to probably Cash Creek on Friday or Saturday when Chucky gets off work. And then driving the rest of the way on Sunday, turning around and going right back up again. Oh my. And what are they coming to get? Um, they want a new fold out couch, like one that folds out to a bed. Yeah, a trundle bed, yeah. And they they like the one that is in Ikea. Nice. I don't really care what he's going for. It's that he's going and I yeah. have the opportunity to go see him. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wish they'd have another one of their $29 shipping extravaganzas again. Oh, that would be nice. My entire living room unit came for $29. Oh, <gasps> no way. Yep. And, and you know, beat that. And you know how big it is. I do. It's loverly. You broke their bank. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where's that photo? Make sure I'm doing the, the layers right. Uh-oh, there's a piece in there. Get out. Would you glue that down with? Combo. Glue dots work too, though. I think that's what I'm going to try and use. Oh, those ones are way too well. You can fold them. Well, I, I, I'm using contraband right now, but with my plan, it won't matter. Ah. I'm just going to let that comment go by. Yeah. <laughs> just ignore what I said. Not the it won't matter comment. No, I know. <laughs> but I'm trying to use up. I know, I understand. You gotta use it. I gave away enough. Now I'm gonna use this shit. Adhesives, right? Yeah, unfortunately adhesives tend to dry out though. This yeah. one hasn't, it's really, they're good. I like them, I hate to tell you that. But maybe I like just the, how they, um, adhere more than anything. I'm going to tie a bigger bow and see if my bow should be bigger.
This is such cool ribbon. Did I order that? Oh, I have something like it, even if it's not that one. Maybe Did this. I order? I have no idea what you ordered. <laughs> you need to keep a running list. I, I did for you. <laughs> you did. You used to. I used to, but then I got so busy that something had to give, and that's what gave. And that's what gave. Because it's a it, hard one to keep track of. It took took used to take me a long time because I have to manually move it from my one spreadsheet to the other. If yeah. I knew somebody that was proficient in um, Excel coding, oh, they yeah. they could have. Um, built a program for me mm -hmm. that I just with a macro and you set it up. Oh, yes, definitely bigger. Yeah. What do you think? So, big uh, or little? Big. Um, big. That type of thing. Pardon me? The cell does that type of thing. Oh, does she? Yeah. When yeah. I worked with the logging company, we had we had that program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I left at night, I pushed three buttons and it took all of the information out of one spreadsheet and stuck it into the costing spreadsheet and I didn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. Yeah. But that's really advanced yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm proficient in Excel, but not in Excel coding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And at this point in my life, I do not want to learn anything else. I'm done. Yep. Oh, sure. Thanks. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I meant the computer programs and because it seems yeah, like yeah. every day I have to learn something new. You yeah. tell me about that with this damn course I'm taking. Yeah, but just think how smart you're going to be when you're done. I, know. I did my first case study. Uh huh. Which was really cool. Did you save the puppy? <laughs> I did that day. Um, but, <laughs> but now I, and this is where the little bit of control freak OCD in me comes out. <laughs> um, I have to now rely on the puppy's parents uh. to follow my recommendations so that I can do the last stage yeah. of the of the case study. And I I have a sneaking suspicion this one didn't. Uh-oh. And so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say, right? It's just gonna be really weird. Yeah. How much longer have you got for the course? one more week of actual lesson and then our own pace to finish off this case studies uh -huh. oh my god this is actually turning out really cool can't wait to see it i'm putting bling on my spiders I've had to build my wreath, not just cut one out, like some people we know. Well, you know, we can fix that anytime. Yeah. <laughs> what a witch, eh? Very fitting for the wreath <laughs> that you're doing today. <laughs> Marty Pelt. Uh -huh. Oh, lamb chops last night, so good. From Costco? Oh, you know it. I don't like lamb. Oh, sorry. Well, no, I'm glad that you enjoy it. I tried it. I tried cooking it. And it said to put rosemary on it. And? I don't like rosemary. Never have, never will. So don't. So we, why so did I put it on? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't think I, subliminally, I don't think I wanted to eat it. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Uh, Everybody else thought it was really good. 
So you need somebody else to cook it for you without rosemary. Oh. <laughs> and you would find probably that you really liked it. Probably. We never had it when I was growing up because that just wasn't. No, neither did, did we had other weird things, but not lamb. Yeah. But I love it. I don't go out and buy it, but. Uh... Oh, the price at Costco is fabulous. Is it? Um, I've got a friend that uh, is Norwegian, and they have a lot of lamb. Ah. Okay, blingy spiders. Let's figure out where we're going to put you, little dudes. On turn. There we go. Yep. Yep. Dimensionals, because they have to be popped up. <laughs> I missed that show, that uh, Storage Wars. No. Oh. <laughs> when Ted was in the hospital in Duncan having his surgery, they had a Storage Wars marathon on. Oh. And of course, I was stuck stuck in the hotel room. So we know what you did. I was doing swap cards and crafting, so it wasn't like I didn't have stuff to do. But I thought, I'm going to put it on. And it stayed on all day. <laughs> Lovely. It's fun staying in a hotel room sometimes, isn't it? Like all day. All day by yourself? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then my sister came up and spent the evening with me. And that was the end of storage wars. Yeah. Well, she stayed overnight. So. And we had dinner at the most fabulous little restaurant in Duncan. Called? Called, wait, I got to think. It was called Ainsley. The Ainsley. Okay. And we had duck. <gasps> yeah. Oh. I may not like a lamb, but I certainly like duck. You know what? Then if you get lamb done properly without rosemary, you'll like it. My God, it was so good. That was, I still remember it was duck breast on a kohlrabi sauce with roasted heirloom carrots. And we ordered it with no starch. Oh my God, it was so good. Mm -hmm. Now I just have to get back to Duncan to eat again. And where's the Ainsley? It's right downtown. Okay. Um, I can't really describe how to get there because all we did was drive around till we found something. So we went around and around and around. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we did take a picture of it though, and it's on it's on um, the web, on the internet. I will find it. I will, I will. Okay. I like to uh, stop at the dog house. I do too. Yeah. Well, we used to eat there, but the last time we went there, there was not a thing that Ted could eat because every single thing on their menu had MSG in it. Oh. That was a long time ago and we've never gone back. So I don't know whether they do anymore, but. I've never reacted to their food, so. I that is so adorable. Nice. Oh, that's Yvonne. So cool. Oh, hi, Heather. <laughs> I guess that means the grandchildren are watching too. Yvonne yeah. says, my parents grow lamb, so had a lot growing up. My mom cooked it so good. Even people that said they didn't like lamb like, loved hers. And that's from Heather? No, that's from Yvonne. Oh, nice. All right, inside. Inside. Okay, I don't like it crooked. Let's straighten it out. Because with folder polymer stamps, you can do that. That's better. 
have an idea of what I want on the inside. And it's going to include spiders. Oops, I didn't clean this first. I don't think I've used this stamp yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I'm making everybody seasick. Okay, why are you having trouble playing my video? Just play the darn thing. <laughs> Hopefully it's just me. Oh yeah, now I'm gone. Where'd you go? <laughs> well, I had to refresh and now I've lost the page. Let's just go to this one and nope. Got to go back to Facebook. Hello, where are you? There you right are. Here. All right, whoops. Why does the world have to be so bad? This is not what I want. Where did it go? There it is. Oy vey. Why does Facebook do that? doesn't do what I tell it to do. Why is it Facebook? That's what drive it crazy. Between Facebook and Zoom has changed a bunch of stuff too. It's, I, they're annoying me. We'll just put it that way. I don't want to learn anything else. You're so funny. I try. Where's mine envelope? Okay, that's that done. Now, spiders. I'm so bad because every time I stamp a spider, I think of Phil. So I'm going to ask him to come and get a spider out of the trailer when we're camping. <laughs> he won't come. However, when I was having class on Monday night, Heather was here and I went to come back to the craft room to get something. And as I rounded the corner into the front room, there was this horse size oh. spider running across the floor. So of course I'm screeching and at the top of my lungs and running. <laughs> and I and Heather comes out, oh, cool, a spider. Oh. So then she goes and gets one of my glasses. And takes it outside. And puts it upside down and scoops it up with a piece of paper and very gently turns it over and then takes the paper off the top. Well, she left the, the glass over top of the spider. And as I came out of my craft room and headed into the front room, oh. I just kind of went, ah, you used one of my glasses. Now I'm going to have to sanitize it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she very gently picked it up and put it outside. Uh, Dang, go away. Well, what do you think? I'm having fun. I have one Spidey left over. Maybe I need to put him down there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. 
I used to live with this one lady and she petrified the spiders and she would just let out this bellow. I got to know her spider yell. <laughs> and it would be just, I'm coming. <laughs> Go get They're them. disgusting things. Oh, they are. Like, I don't like them and I jump and if it's really unexpected, I will scream, but I deal with it. I deal with it or else they live with me. Uh-huh. Yeah, better uh, one that you deal with than one that you think is in the house. <laughs> that's right. So I do. I with usually them. just get the vacuum out and suck them suckers out. But then they can crawl out of it. Yeah, but we have built in in the vacuums in the basement, so I really don't care. Oh. Oh, my dad God. used to have a special, he called it his spider slipper. <laughs> mm. There's that too. Whatever shoe I have on, I just squish them. Yeah. I have no mercy. Well, hello, Rosemary. Thank you for your comment. And Shanna, I think it's cool too. So what was the name of this person? Let me tell you. Jan Musselman is the originating artist for this card. I did a few extra things because she had pumpkins on hers and I didn't have the pumpkin die. I don't either, but mine's gonna have pumpkins. Maybe I'll give this to Cameron for his birthday. Ooh. He likes stuff like this. If he's not watching, if he's watching and knows about it, then I'm, I'll have to figure out something else. <laughs> Ooh, ah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh. Thanks, Yvonne. You know, I've done so many cards now. <laughs> Rosemary is working but decided to take a quick break at work so she can watch for a few minutes. Oh. She lives in Tofino. Oh. How's the weather out there, Rosemary? Did you get the rain last night we got? Holy man, there was a huge rainstorm last night. There was thunder, one thunder crack rolled for almost 30 seconds. Yes, Shanna, the original one has pumpkins. It does. I put the original card in my post yesterday. Pumpkins look nice, but I don't have that die trio of tags, I think it is, that has the pumpkins in it. Shock, a die set I don't have. <laughs> How the heck did you tie a bow? With my bow tire? <laughs> Mine still has not appeared in this mess. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So weird, huh? It is. Oh, believe me. They can hide for the strangest amount of time. I know. They can. So. And then they show up and like, I've looked there 10 or 12 times, you know. Yeah. Where you look on the floor and there it is, where you've been looking all yeah. for two weeks. There it is, just sitting there going, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh -huh. I put my extra bow on my my tool roly-poly thing so now i have pretties <laughs> right next to it says miss you and then it has a black bow <laughs> and this this um ribbon is kind of like like it has wire in it but it doesn't it's really stiff so it it's stiff up isn't it nice. I like it. Now, um, Carmen, I got your order. Oh, yay. Thank God. Don't know what happened to it. I have no idea where it went. Yeah. That's bizarre. Yeah. You're not getting 
Okay, so Beautiful. in Tofino, it's sunny, but lightning and thunder yesterday afternoon and last night. Our skylights in bedroom four by six gave us a great view and sounded like a train was going over it. I oh. bet. The yeah. one lightning flash was so bright, it turned the headlights on my froggy Jeep out on the patio. Ah, really? It was bizarre. I could see this light shining out there. And of course, don't have my glasses on. Wondering what it is. There's somebody kayaking around in my patio. Nope, it was my Jeep woke up. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, what Rosemary. It's at? really easy to do a bow. You just need a bow maker. Sorry, what did you say? What time was the lightning? And it was around midnight-ish. I must have been found asleep because between 11.30 and midnight, I think. And then the rain came. Oh, man. So, Rosemary, this is a bow maker. It's just a hunk of scrap wood with quarter inch holes drilled a quarter of an inch apart and then quarter inch dowels go in the holes. So you can make your bow as wide as you want. And if you go to my blog, um, I have a tutorial there on how to do it. So let me go and get my link for my blog for you. And then I'll go to that page, Bowmaker Tutorial. So if you have, if you have somebody that can teach, can create one for you, they're, they're really easy to make. There, there's the tutorial. Oh, well, I have a few here. He makes them for me. They're $3 each. Next time you're in town, just let me know. It's difficult making a video on how to tie a bow because I, I need to retrofit a bow maker so that it stands this way. So I can tie this way. So you see what I do, but I don't have that yet. But you have a guy that can do that for you. <laughs> yes, but the guy that can do that for me is now feeling good enough that he's going down to the Heritage Society and spending all day down there. Well, that's just wrong. <laughs> I think so, but at least he's not in my hair. <laughs> On the vellum type, shiny, thick, well, it's not vellum, it's more plastic, you know, the plasticky paper they came out with at one time. It was a design, oh, okay. designer thing. <laughs> what? Can you, can you what? hold it up so I can have a look? Uh, a piece okay. of it? Yeah. Okay. Or tell me what it's called. That. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the mercury acetate. Yep. Right. What can what kind of ink can you use on the acetate? Um, will stays on dry on it? Yep. Okay. It will. Okay. I'm going to be brave. <laughs> Go I'm for gonna, it. I'm going to do my sentiment right on the. Rosemary says her hubby is a journeyman carpenter, but you know it's easier to have someone else do it. Absolutely. Oh, God. Our poor husbands are so hard done by. Aren't they? It worked! Yay! Just don't touch it for a little bit so I'm that it has to. time to dry. Because I'm fussy cutting. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> You know how much I like that. So which do you like more, fussy cutting or coloring? I love coloring. There we go. I do not love fussy cutting. No. Oh. <laughs> At any level. I do. I know. That's why you should be here to do this for me. I should. I should. I could. I would. How's the outbreak doing? Growing. Oh my God. 36 on the, at the nation, I guess they're calling it now, yesterday. And that has, they won't tell us how many in town. 
That sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially when I have friends that are suffering. Yeah. I feel so sorry for anybody that's been exposed to that kind of stuff. Well, we have and even sorrier for the ones that actually get sick from it. The one we have very, very, very close family friends that live down there. Oh, on the, on the yeah, on the reserve, and uh, so I phoned to see how they were, and kind of played dumb because I'd kind of heard through the grapevine that they may have caught it, and the wife could barely talk to me. She oh, was God. so winded. So she put her hubby on, who wasn't seemingly as bad, but he was so darn happy that I phoned that you kind of wondered if that was what was spurring him. Uh -huh. And then he said something and I said, well, Willie, I said, I said, do you guys actually test positive? And he goes, oh, you didn't know. And I said, no, I phoned to see how you were. He, his wife and one of the kids got it. Oh, Lord. And one of the other kids was doing doing their meals and bringing it down to them. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. um, it was all good. But the one, the son, the youngest that got it, he posted a little video yesterday. Um, oh, was that him? I was watching that. Brandon, yeah. From a, a COVID survivor. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So. That got it at a funeral. Yep. And like he said, he dro he dropped his defenses once. One hug. One freaking hug. Yep. All it takes, unfortunately. Yeah. So scary. I did watch that. It was really interesting. Wasn't it? He is a smart cookie, that one. He at one time was selling Cutco knives to help put himself through pay for some of his stuff when he was going to school that the government didn't pay for oh yeah notice he has no um i call it native drawl he didn't yes he doesn't speak like a native yeah Inter interestingly enough his dad has got a very clear speech pattern too but his mom there'd be no if you you know were blindfolded you'd know that she was native yeah just by her speech pattern uh, oops, too much on that one. I'm back. I'm putting silver sequins on now. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, mine's yelling for bling too, but I'm still bloody fussy cutting. <laughs> you, would, you would have been done three of them already. Well, these uh, sequins for everything, although they've got their color, green and red and yellow and some kind of oh, orange and yellow, I guess, they have silver in them in this one. Oh. So I was able to pick some silvers out. Orange would be good. Okay, well, I'll try orange. Don't you think? Well, it, yeah, it's not really an, an orange orange, though. Is the only, oh. Well, maybe those ones are. See there, can you see? There's the two that are in the orange ones. Uh, point them to me. On the right side? Yeah, they don't do much. I think the silver is better. Yeah. Because it kind of goes, the the big one goes light yellow when you take it away from the purple and this, I don't like those ones. They make really good shakers in a shaker card though. Purple would be cool. <laughs> yeah, they don't have purple. And now I can't get it off my finger. It likes you. Uh, just... Rosemary, enjoy your work. I'm sorry, you're working. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure the people in Tofino appreciate it. What does she do? She works at the RCMP station. Ah. So she's part of my team. She was recruited by my Tofino downline. Yeah. But Ted's known her for years. Oh, neat. 
because of his training stuff out there. They used to go to the police station all the time. Right. Who was the lady's house we went to and did a class? And that did... was Judy. Judy, okay. Yeah. And they're well, are they? Well, her husband has um, long-term health issues. Yeah. And he... now they're trying to sell their rental houses so they can get out of Tofino because they've had enough. Oh no, where are they going to go? Here. Ah. They want to move to port. Well, she said groceries are getting harder and harder to find, not only groceries, but everything. So the truck, the gro truck comes in from um, into the co op food store on Thursday night. Yeah. And every morning from and I can't remember what time she said nine to ten thirty or something is seniors shopping. Yeah. So she'll go in on Friday morning to do her shopping and they haven't unloaded all the boxes yet. The shelves aren't full. So then she'd go back on Saturday morning and it was completely sold out again. Yeah. Oh. And with health issues, yeah. they're not able to travel out the port right. as much anymore to get groceries. So yeah. Not a good thing. Nope. When we when we go it, there in March, we're gonna have to make sure we take enough food that we don't have to go and buy their food. I plan to. Well, we'll definitely support the restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why doesn't that surprise me? Yeah, I know. We are nothing if not consistent, right? <laughs> well, they've got. Um, they're changing the closing schedule on October the 1st for the, the um, construction zone oh, yeah. on the way to Tofino. So they're only going to be open from seven in to nine in the morning. And then they're closed until one o'clock, one to four or one to five or something in the afternoon. Okay. So we have to stay there for lunch because <laughs> we can't get back until one o'clock. Yeah, because they'll never be up early enough to get out. Well, we'll, we'll we're going to be in Tofino at nine o'clock. Right. So we have to leave here at 730 to be there by nine. But then we can't, by the time we get back out to the, while well, they close at nine. So um, we wouldn't be, we can't get back out until one o'clock. Right. So nice long walk on the beach and lunch at Taco Fino and maybe a trip to chocolate to Fino and come home. Oh darn. I know. I don't mind supporting the Fino at all. <laughs> and then Ted and I thought we might go um, on Friday for our, for our anniversary we thought we might go to Yuki uh -huh. and go for a walk on the Wild Wet Coast Trail until Charlie said that he might become, or he is coming down from Cornell. So yeah, sorry, Ted. I'd rather go see my grandson than spend time walking on the trail with you on our anniversary. There you go. Oh, and by the way, did you know I'm taking measurements for our kitchen to, to <laughs> yeah. And he's just groaning. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Poor dude. Because he knows that it will be him and I installing the kitchen. Oh, that's always fun. Well, it all comes in pieces. All you have to do is take the old stuff out and stick the new stuff in, right? That's right. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'm just about done. I'm so excited. <laughs> God, I haven't finished this part in class. What? Well, finish it off. Oh, I'm thinking I need another sequin right there. Where did I put those things away? No. The longer I sit here, the more stuff's going on this card. You know that, right? <laughs> Keep sitting just a few more minutes. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to put one here, over there. I'm sponging. Ah, and one up there. Yep. 
Dip. Which is the biggest Arbutus um, store? Uh, probably the one in Victoria. Okay. Out of Port Alberta, Fox, <laughs> and Camp River. Um, I don't know because I've never been to the other two. Okay. Well, there's no help to me, are you? Good Lord, woman. Hey, I'm going to Ikea and willing to pick your stuff up. Oh, that I know, and I am ever, <laughs> ever, ever so thankful. What are you looking for for your Bichon bus? Um, John was looking for something. Do you think oh. I can think of it right now? Um, um, um. I think I'll put this little guy in there. Well, we're going to be close to both of those except for the Powell River one, or I mean the Port Alberni one. I know. You know, we're gonna have, even though we're there for a week, we're gonna have so much stuff that we have to do while we're there. <laughs> it's gonna be, oh, can't I stay longer? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that is just so adorable. Love it. What do I do with my, oh, there it is. You know, of course that means I have to make three more, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the spider on the bottom. Uh huh. Love. Love, 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 love. That turned out cool. Oh, why do they stick so bad? You really do have to leave that acetate page against your stamps, don't you? Or they stick to the case so badly. Say that again. The acetate page that comes. Oh, yes, yes. You really do have to save it. Yes. Well, I didn't. And oh. they, the words stick to the case so bad. So what I do when I do photopolymer. Yeah. Is I tape the, there's a thick one and a thin one. And yeah. I tape the thick one down to the back so it doesn't move. And then I tape the thin one on this side. But these so, aren't even photopolymer. They're rubber. Oh, oh yeah. The new rubber is definitely sticking really badly. Oh, holy crackers. Yeah. I mean, it's good, but holy cuckoo. Yep. But once you, when you've used them a couple of times, that goes away. That okay. doesn't stay forever. That's just when they're new. Okay. Well, this is definitely new. I've used two new stamp sets today. Wow. I have a team swap that I need to get cards made up for. Maybe I should just do this one. Shanna, plug your ears. <laughs> Shanna, are you working? I'm sorry. Okay, now I need bling. Bling, bling. Orange and purple, what are chances? Purple, yes. Orange, maybe not. Well. But if you have an orange Sharpie, you can always make orange rhinestones and orange Champagne purple. Champagne doesn't look half bad. But why does this have purple all over it? Weird. Tell me that. Well, if I knew what that was, maybe I could. Oh, look, I have purple ink all over the package, outside of the package of the. Oh. Something leaked. Something. I do have issues with leaking. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently in more places in my life. Hey, I knew you were a purple girl, but that's going one step further than I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, those aren't tied like that. Are they, are they? No, they're not. No, are those? Oh, oh, I got sticky. Um, what do you call those things? Dan is coming to a coming to us from somebody's laundry room. <laughs> oh. That's funny. <laughs> Way to go, Shanna. That's awesome. 
Is that the right purple? No. But this one looks like it will be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put these shiny ones back. That's better. Too cool. What are those little sequins? That's what I'm trying to say. I have orange sequins. Uh -huh. And it looks like this package has purple sequins in it too. But, oh, they're flower shaped. I don't want flower shaped. Oh, I have to find somebody who has the, I can't do this for my team swap. Why? Because I, I don't have the new embossing folder. Oh, I have to ask my team if anybody has it, they can emboss some for me. You're allowed to emboss, but you're not allowed to stamp. No, it has to be current stuff, and that embossing folder is not current. Okay. I love your card. <laughs> the no one in the, the window. Uh, oh, yeah. Globe. Yeah. That we did. Hold it up again so I can see which one you're talking about. Oh, the, the globe oh. one we did in the... <laughs> the gnome shaker dome card. Yep. Very cute. Yeah. The only thing is, I noticed I put the bottom of the globe on a little crooked. <laughs> and I think I got those down too well now when I noticed that. Uh-huh. Let's see if I can gently get them off. Shanna, you always were the queen of multitasking. Okay, are you ready, Freddie? Hang on. Um, okay, go. Okay, now hold it there. That is a, so amazing. Let me cancel that spotlight so I can spotlight yours so them on Facebook can see you spotlight. Oh my God, that's adorable. Love it. So I use <laughs> that little twig punch. Yeah. And punch oh. out everything individually to make my wreath. Yeah. And you can see that designer shiny orange paper in the back. Yeah. And that's that acetate that I used because it kind of looked a little bit creepy. It does. And it stamped right. See, celebrate if you dare. <laughs> And then the inside says, beware with a cat. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> and I love this raven. And he's winkied so that it dragged the gray into his feathers. Oh. I did wow. I That's not cool. for not having one of the damn things that you had. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You did really well. That okay, Carbon, fun. are you done yours? Sure. Hold it up. Working on this. Oh. <laughs> Smart ass. So the answer would be no. I, uh, I had no idea what was happening. So I just went, okay, I'm just going to work on my Christmas card. Ah. So I had 15 of these cut out, but I had to get all the little, uh, embella, the little cutty out, out of them. So. Oh. Figured, well, I might as well work on that while I'm might as well. Here listening and and Yvonne, if you're still over there in Facebook land, if you're creating a card, I'd love to see it. Send me a picture. My hint for anybody that uses the twig, I put um blue dots in a circle. Oh and just started placing. Not just a pretty face. Yep, and it worked really well. <laughs> just saying. Nice. I See? finally opened the card from you from the, from my last order. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I love that card. You're very oh, welcome. Gorgeous. Shanna says your card is amazing, Maria. Thank you, Shanna. And hers is created in her head because, of course, she's in a laundry room somewhere in Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> Only time I've ever had fun in a laundry room, I was on a cruise. Uh-oh. 
and one of my besties and I, we had been in Italy already for a few weeks and then we went on a cruise. So from leaving from Italy. So we needed to get some laundry done. And neither of us was super comfortable putting it in and leaving it. Yep. So we had booked suites. So there was champagne involved in our rooms. <laughs> So we decided, well, we'll just take one bottle down. Well, oh, God. <laughs> then our husbands brought the second bottle down. And I... for some reason, there was a third bottle involved because our room got two. Oh, Lord. Then Caesars were delivered. Oh, God. <laughs> By the end of it, we were folding other people's laundries and we had this group of men that had been sent by their wives to do laundry, but they didn't leave either. <laughs> and then these wives came down and went oh that's why you're here <laughs> just a hoot and as would be we're halfway around the freaking world and we run into somebody that grew up in Powell River and <laughs> well of course you do that wherever you go yes I do we didn't know him um or my well, my husband did in the end knew of the family they had been here and left but it was too funny so yeah, laundry can be fun, you guys. <laughs> Yvonne is creating a Christmas wreath card and she'll post it when she's done. Both your card and Maria's look very spooky, beautiful. I am, um, see, I don't need to buy the wreath. <laughs> Why does need have to be used in that sentence? <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> I'll look I'll at it. on that word, except that I need to order. I'll look at it. Oh, you don't have to. But if you do, it would help me achieve my sales goal by the end of the month. How much more do, you, do I need to spend? <laughs> <laughs> I would be willing to help. Every little bit helps. The, um, the Powell River order should be there on Monday. Cool. All things very equal. So hopefully Krista will get in touch with you guys. I have not called anybody. I had a super busy day, but I'll get to it today. It's all right. And uh, Lorraine came and got hers. Mm -hmm. she lived so far away. <laughs> and the others I'll call. And I think, well, Bell, Bell, I don't know what's with Bell right now. But anyways, um, the others are at work, so they can stop on their way back. And I'll, do you have any idea where the new lady lives? Um, That's part of your team? Off the top of my head, no. Okay. She um, might be nearby. Yeah. Who knows, right? Yeah. I did tell her where you live. Okay. I got Not the exact address, but the area. Right. The lady that whose dogs I took care of because her husband had the semi, semi heart attack, or so they thought. Yeah. Dropped by. She'd left the dog bowls here. So she dropped by to get them today. And she, I refused to take money. And uh, of course she, did. Her, she tried to pay me that I would never do it again, basically. So she hands me a bag and she had brought me cucumbers in the season and a big bag of them. So she hands me this heavy bag and she says, they're cucumbers in there. Be careful. And I said, oh, thank you so much. And I go in the kitchen and open the bag and there's two bottles of wine. <laughs> So I sent her a note. I said, that's the funniest cucumbers I've ever seen. <laughs> Brat. She lives up above um, Walmart Mall, I believe. Okay. That's not very far. No. If I'm remembering my streets right. What street is it? I don't want to say on air. Okay. Don't then. What, what letter does it start with? T. <laughs> All right, everybody on Facebook, thanks so much for joining me. And if you're catching this on The Rebound, thanks for watching. It's been fun creating with you in my craft room today. And what day is this? Thursday. Oh, tomorrow night is late night stamping at 8 o'clock. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. You're going to do it weekly? I'm thinking so. Cool. I have no idea what we're doing, but do I we, didn't Do know. we follow you or do we actually get to stamp? No, no, you stamp 
what you want. I'm just doing Facebook Live. I'm not Zooming. Okay. So do what you want. Come stamp, sit and watch TV, grab a bevy. Do you tell us what you're doing? Well, I, I have the, you watch what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, you'll see what I'm doing. <laughs> I may be sitting here like this going, hmm, what shall I do? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's Friday night at eight o'clock Pacific time. Goodbye, Facebook. Thanks for joining. Bye, Facebook. Bye, Facebook.